This is just a quick walk around in my rail cart. The frame is made from one inch square steel tubing. Uh, this platform here is made from aluminum. This is where your feet rest while you're riding on the rail cart. You can also put your cooler, your gas can, spare parts, your backpack, whatever else. Uh, I added a 12 volt LED off-road light. This runs off of a RC car battery that I have. The seats are from Walmart. They're just fishing boat seats, really lightweight. I tried to keep the overall weight of the vehicle uh, down as low as possible because we have to be able to pick it up. The engine is a Harbor Freight 212cc, 6.5 horsepower, 4-stroke engine. It comes complete with the fuel tank, the exhaust, the uh, basically everything you need to run the, run the engine. The uh, throttle linkage here I made runs the carburetor linkage there, so you can hit the throttle with just your hand. To run this motor, you need a centrifugal clutch. So you, know, you might be familiar with a mini bike clutch. This is a heavy duty version of that. It comes with a, a, a much bigger sprocket that can run a larger chain. I decided to run a larger chain because I have, don't have a lot of ground clearance under here. And a smaller chain could get easily damaged by the rocks and other things that, that you can run into on uh, between the rails. Uh, the axle here is a keyed axle. So this sprocket is connected to these wheels uh, with keyways. The wheels, this is my second iteration of the wheels. Uh, I started with, uh, I guess it would be a, a lawnmower wheel that I cut in half and tried to make into a railroad wheel. Uh, it wasn't very heavy duty, so the, the metal bent real easily. So I went with these cast iron wheels that actually have a polyurethane outer on them. It rides a lot smoother and it's a little quieter. And then that disc there keeps the cart on the tracks. The axles are held in place with pillow blocks. They're just simple industrial pillow blocks, low RPM stuff, they're greasable. The front axle is similar to the rear except for it's not keyed because it's not a driven axle, but you still have the pillow blocks and the same wheels. Overall, I probably have about $500 into this rail cart, not counting time.